You've seen them hanging on the rack at your local music store. You know one's a guitar cable and one's a mic cable, but you don't really know what the differences between them are. Other than the obvious connector style, how and why are these two types of cables different? Are they interchangeable? In this video, we're going to take a look at the differences and similarities of these two cables and exactly what makes one balanced and the other unbalanced. By the end of this video, you'll have a much better understanding of these cables, which will help you make better home recordings. Ready to get started? Someone hit record. Hi kids, my name is Merlin and I'd like to welcome you to Better Home Recordings. Today, we're looking at the differences between balanced and unbalanced audio cables. At the end of this video, I'll have a Better Home Recordings super tip for you that will elevate you to the audio cable guru order of Merlin. So be sure to stick around for that handy tip. First up is the balanced cable. A balanced cable features three wires a ground, a positive leg, and a negative leg. Both legs carry a copy of the same signal, but in opposite polarity to each other. This polarity reversal takes place in the microphone or instrument's internal wiring. The balanced receiving device, generally an audio interface or mixer, then flips the polarity of one signal leg back, thereby putting the two signals back in polarity with each other. As any noise picked up along the cable run will typically be found on both legs, this reversal causes this common noise to be 180 degrees out of phase with itself, thus being eliminated. This noise cancellation is the reason balance lines are generally best for long cable runs. Because of the two signal legs and their polarity relationship to each other, the audio signal is said to be balanced. Balanced cables generally feature the three-pin XLR style connectors we're all familiar with, but they can also be equipped with a tip, ring, sleeve, quarter-inch connector. You can see here that the quarter-inch plug is divided into three parts, one for each wire, separated by an insulated divider. They look very similar to their unbalanced quarter-inch cousins, but they're not always interchangeable. Next up are unbalanced cables. In contrast to balanced cables, unbalanced cables only have two wires, one audio leg plus a ground wire. Unbalanced cables generally come in the form of guitar and instrument cables and feature a tip sleeve style quarter inch connector. If you look closely, you can see that the plug is divided into two parts. Again, one for each wire separated by a line, which is actually the insulated divider. Because unbalanced cables only have two wires, they are much more susceptible to noise problems as they lack the phase cancellation properties of a balanced cable. In general, unbalanced lines should be kept as short as possible, definitely under 25 feet, to minimize any potential noise that may be carried with the signal into the connected equipment. And that brings us to today's Better Home Recording Super Tip. The great thing about dealing with balanced XLR cables is that if you need more length, you can simply plug one XLR cable into another and daisy chain them until you get the length that you need. Unlike quarter inch cables, they don't require special barrel connectors to allow them to plug into each other. With the right equipment, a shielded XLR cable can theoretically reach distances of up to a thousand feet without signal loss. That definitely won't happen with an unbalanced guitar cable. And with that, congratulations, you've now earned your Audio Cable Guru Order of Merlin. I'm so glad you stopped by today. If you have any questions on anything discussed in this video or would like to suggest a subject for a future video, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Seriously. Be sure to check out my other videos that you'll find useful for your home studio here. And please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fun and information. I would very much appreciate your continued support. That's it for now, kids. I hope to see you again. And remember, the first rule of Better Home Recordings is... There are no rules. See you soon.